I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my little sneaky secret tip. When your crush sees you. <laughs> if you guys want 2022 to be the year where you finally start talking to your crush, when we're in that conversation, the dopamine is not being produced. Okay guys, welcome back to my sleep bar and let's get into some psychology tips on how to be that girl in school and get any guy to like you or girl, you know. So the first kind of like cool psychology hack that I can give you guys is spontaneous trait transference. So spontaneous trait transference in psychology is basically when communicators are perceived as the traits that they describe others having. So to put it in normal human words, for example, let's say you're talking to your crush and you're basically saying something good about someone. Maybe you're saying something good about your best friend. You're like, that my best friend, she a real bad bitch. The traits that you are saying about your best friend in your crush's mind are going to be associated with you due to the phenomenon of spontaneous trait transference. So you can actually use this to your advantage and when you're talking with your crush, make sure to say something good about someone, something that you maybe might want your crush to think about you. Okay, so I know that usually when we're talking, especially when we're talking at school to someone, we're usually tempted to use the regular kind of like small talk talks, like you know the ones that I mean, the ones that are like, oh my god, I'm so tired, I want to go home, or like, oh, this class is so annoying, or like, oh, I just want to eat and sleep, and like the typical stuff that everyone says at school. So here's a really interesting thing. Basically, whenever we're engaged in small talk, we're usually operating on autopilot which means that when we're in that conversation the dopamine is not being produced therefore the conversation will be less memorable and the person is also less likely to like you and if you guys don't know what dopamine is dopamine is basically a feel-good chemical that bonds people together so how can you produce dopamine in the conversation you may ask well let me tell you when talking to someone that you want to like you and we're talking to your crush try to go more outside the normal life like small talk talks. I'm not saying get too serious and be like, what's your life purpose? I feel like a lot of people would be completely weirded out by that, but even asking a random unexpected question, for example, actually the first day of my freshman year, I was sitting in a homeroom class and this guy walks up to me and he's just like, hey, do you have any brothers or sisters? And I'm like, wait, what? What? No? Why are you asking? And then he like says something and then he walks off and literally, that was the most memorable guy for me and the person I ended up having a crush on for the next three years of high school. I'm not saying that asking a random question will make someone have a crush on you for three years, but when you introduce something into your conversation that is out of the ordinary to the point where it produces a spark and it produces dopamine and it makes the conversation a little more exciting, wakes the person up out of that autopilot mode when you're talking to them, it will make the conversation so much more memorable, it will produce dopamine and it will be more likely for you guys to bond through that conversation. So this next one, I don't want you guys to be taking like too seriously, like take this one with a grain of salt. But basically for one of my classes at university, I decided to choose a research topic on like why we have the beauty standards that we have and why people find the things that they find attractive, well, attractive. <laughs> and basically like looking at different like research papers that have been there before, which obviously is not like the whole research on the whole topic. But one thing that I saw is that mostly bigger their eyes are like favored and perceived as more attractive because they're kind of like baby-like and at the same time like in babies they signify better health so basically it's a subconscious thing that even as adults in straight relationships specifically and specifically on girls bigger eyes are kind of like more favored and you might be like well I don't really have big eyes so like what am I supposed to do about that but like what you can do is use makeup so basically in order to achieve like a tiny bit off a bigger look you can take a little bit of the brown shade and put it on the lower corner of your eye and the upper corner of your eye which will kind of make your eye look a little more bigger as well as use like lighter shades on your lids which will help open the eye up and make it look more awake i actually have like a whole video testing these kind of like a more attractive makeup tricks but at the same time like literally please take this with a grain of salt like different people have different perceptions of attractiveness this is just like some finding 
things on biological basis and it doesn't mean that like just because you have big eyes your crush is gonna immediately like you okay so the next one is actually a really cute flirting move for when you guys are at school and you guys are sitting somewhere like near your crush and your crush's eyesight level what you guys can do is just make a pencil bun have it be there for a few minutes maybe while you're taking notes while the lecture is going and then especially if you're sitting in front of them that's like really freaking cute you can let it out and kind of like shake out your hair this will draw attention to your hair and basically drawing attention to your hair is actually one of the best ways to flirt there you have it flirting tips from the yearbook's biggest flirt <laughs> uh, i cannot believe i want that like three years in a row also if you want to hear more about flirting tips you can check out my how to flirt video as well as subscribe to this channel because i'm going to be coming out with a brand new video that has even more flirting tips and tricks <laughs> So if you guys want 2022 to be the year where you finally start talking to your crush and then finally start dating your crush, here are three of my favorite conversation starters that can help you start talking to your crush. So the first one is to start the conversation based on something that they're good at. If you know that the person is like really obsessed with and really good, for example, with a certain video game, you can go up to them or you can text them and be like, hey, I know you're really good at blank, insert the name of the video game. I was thinking about starting playing it too and since i know you're really good at it would you have any tips for me as a beginner in that video game and then they're gonna reply with something and then you can keep talking about that and from there on out you can kind of like build off of whatever they say ask another question and kind of like keep the conversation going but don't make your first conversation too long the first conversation always has to be short and you might be like angel if i keep my first conversation short and then the next day i have no idea why to text the person again or how to text the person again and they don't text me again wouldn't everything just be over pretty much and for this you guys i'm gonna be sharing with you guys my little sneaky secret tip that i use all the time so first of all i think with like that when you're like asking about advice on something that they're good at the next day you can kind of like text them giving them an update or something like that but if you feel like you cannot do that here's my sneaky little tip so during the first conversation, when you guys talk to them, you don't end the conversation completely. So for example, here's like one of the conversations I had with like a guy from my university. I pretty much like started a conversation by asking him a random question, which was which major are you from? Because I literally was like, I have no idea which conversation starter I can even use to text this person. But let me just go with the random question then and just ask what their major is. He replied with something and I was like, oh, I thought you would be a business major. And then he was like, that's interesting. Interesting. I guess that's because I'm so competitive. I'm like, no, it was definitely your confidence. And then I was like, can you guess what my major is? And kind of like making it a challenge, which I feel like adds like fun to the conversation. But here's the secret little thing. When he replied to that, I did not reply that day. And then I replied to him the next day and kept the conversation going for a few more minutes. And then I left off again and moved it into the third day. So basically that's the trick. Like you guys, don't have to necessarily like end the conversation be like oh bye gotta go whatever whatever just have the conversation kind of like cut off midway which will help you move the conversation to the next day and then if the person likes you it will just keep on going dude i even feel so weird about like sharing this with you guys because what if the person sees like honestly it's not like i have a crush on him but it's kind of like so weird when you talk about someone in your video it's like The second way to start a conversation, I'm also going to be telling you guys kind of like a personal anecdote. It's basically to ask the person for help with something and it doesn't have to be like drastic. Like I know in my previous videos, I've mentioned like ask them to help you out with a class or something like that, but it can be as tiny as it was in my case. So basically in one of my classes, it was like kind of like a boring day and it was just like three people in class on that day because it was the last day of class and I didn't know any of them, but I felt like I wanted to start a conversation with this one guy so first of all i kind of like sat behind him and second of all basically what i did for that was like the professor asked us to export our presentations in pdf format and upload them that way so i went up to this guy and i was like hey do you know like how to export the powerpoint in a pdf format because i have no idea how to do that and then he was like oh dude like i have no idea how to do that too and then i was like oh let's look for a solution for that together and then kind of like while doing that 
that I was like oh by the way like what's your major and then from there we kind of started talking about like school and like how we got to that university and this and that so you see how like you can use this tiny minor thing to like start the conversation and then from there you kind of like keep the ball rolling and there you go cash, 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 cash. The third one is to start a conversation if they have a fun school supply, if they're wearing some kind of merch or some kind of like band t-shirt, you can go up and talk to them about whatever is on their shirt or whatever they're wearing. If you guys want to know how to get a phone number of someone that you like or social media of someone that you like, here's one of my favorite tricks that I have for you guys is basically to kind of like find an excuse to take a picture with their phone. Maybe you guys are hanging out and you take a picture with their phone or maybe you take a picture of the blackboard with their phone being like, oh, my phone is dead or something like that. And then be like, hey, can you send that to me with iMessage or can you send that to me on whatever social media platform you want to get them on? And if you guys want more tricks, tricks on like how to get your crush's number without being obvious you can watch this video of mine which is also linked in the icards and in the description down below cash, 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 cash. okay so as inclusive as i make my tips all the time this next one is only for girls who like guys and this trick is basically to actually like let me take you and let me show you so this trick is to wear something that is oversized shirts because when your crush sees you <laughs> in an oversized hoodie, they are subconsciously going to think of you in their hoodie. It's kind of like a really weird hack, but it kind of does work on a subconscious level. And you guys, honestly, with all of this, the most important freaking thing that I feel like all of us have to keep in mind is that scarcity on a psychological level is honestly more attractive. Think about it. Even if you have something as good as chocolate, if you have it every single day, you're not gonna like chocolate anymore. If you're there for the person every single day, all the time, you're always available, there's no room to miss you, there's no room to like you, at some point it kind of becomes like too much be a little scarce which does not mean to play games but it literally just means to not be all over the person as tempting as it is when we like someone sometimes you need to implement a little scarcity and that is how you become that girl at school in 2022 i hope you guys like this video i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video